Hello, welcome to Look What's Happening. What we've got going on here is a second story addition. But now we've got a lot of preliminary work going on. Basically, we're building up this foundation. We're gonna have a two-car garage flanked by a single-car garage, and then we're gonna go over that with the second story, a ballet studio, bedroom, bathroom. Let's take a look on the side. Okay, right here is the kitchen bump out. We're gonna add about 40 square feet to an already fairly good sized kitchen. It's gonna be a great space. Single story right here. We're gonna take off the entire roof here and we're gonna add that second story. We're adding about 1,500 square feet to this house. All right, it's still a little bit messy around here because we've done a lot in the last two days. It's been 100, 108, 109 degrees every single day. Look at this bean here. This is one of them that we're using here. Again, it's oversized. I always oversize my beans. This, this wall right here is the back side of the kitchen. We're gonna bump that out another four feet. All right, this is really important to me because I've been a carpenter for years and I love wood. We didn't skimp on the wood up here. These are real two by 12s. I don't like the TGIs, okay? Look at this, this is really high quality wood in here. I'm not gonna try and save a thousand dollars on wood when we're trying to build this. This is all number one grade wood. It's gonna be great. These beams here are oversized. This beam here would carry a three story apartment complex or house. All right, this entire wall is removed, okay? We're extending this wall out to here. Our stairs travel straight up here. This is the new three-car garage. There'll be a dance studio above this. We're removing the back wall over there. We're pumping out this dining room five feet. Okay. We're re-supporting this. Right now, we've got a big beam that's going in right now. This back door here, that's being eliminated. Okay. So that was one. out this will be a new bed wall in here with cam lights above and the new French door we've got some reclaimed wood that we're using for the hardwood floors in here the stuff is really really it's fantastic these boards in here 12 feet long this is really hard to find so anyhow this is going to be the new doorway here Yeah. Give it a swirl, huh? Here he comes. Down the ledge, so I feel like
Studio City, this job is finished. Take a look and see what's happened. This was a four foot bump out this entire wall here. We have custom cabinetry, um, stained, nice dark stain. This is a seated rain glass. Nice big cooktop, double oven, uh, undermount sink. I like this here. This is uh, kind of like a half pantry with our built-ins around the refrigerator. This was all re-leveled in here. Um, the roof line went out, all been reworked, reframed in here. New foundation on the outside. There was a wall here and a wall here. The uh, wall's been removed. This ceiling has been raised. This was part of a porch. We reframed all this to get the height out of it. Okay, this stone down here was very difficult. Hello, laundry room. Uh, at least the garage. Got a nice side-by-side uh, -side here and a uh, great countertop to work with. Welcome to the master bedroom. What we've done here is smooth wall everything. It's all had a texture on it. New hardwood floors in here. This was a closet wall all the way across. We removed the closet here and this is a new master closet. Now this is half of what used to be the outside porch. We took this half and dedicated it to a master closet which works really well. The other half of this porch is part of the, uh, the main room there where we bumped up the ceiling as well. Upstairs we have a ballet studio with a guest bedroom and a guest bath. The back side of this wall is the three car garage. This is basically all new uh, from here on out. This is a number one red oak with a dark stain. Welcome to the ballet studio. This brick has been refaced in here. This is the kitchen bump out right here. This was bumped out four feet. All the brick was removed and redone. I'm going to clear coat it with the sealer. They want a clear coat. And then we put the deck down. So no one's walking on the deck anything on the trellis, it will all be finished. 
Then we'll put the deck down in perfect wood and seal that. A-okay. 